Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I just want to do a quick video um, on some gifts and trades I've received recently. Um, just some really cool stuff, and it is worth talking about. So this package here was a trade um, with Phil Dixon. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. And well, first of all, thank you, Phil. Um, it was a, a really good trade with Phil. And um, let's have a look what we got. Also got a, a Kaba, Dorma Kaba pen, an Asa Abloy pen, and um, an Avocet hardware pen. Avocet, of course, make the ABS and AT key locks. So that's really awesome. Um, the, the lock which uh, started us talking about a trade, which is um, a really nice Italian Aseo um, shutter lock just really like ISEO locks, really fabulous to pick. Um, if you've never picked an ISEO, I really would suggest you go about it because um, they are great. Then um, a rugby themed bottle opener. You can never have enough of bottle openers. Um, what else do we have? Now, Phil must know that I collect federal lock padlocks and this isn't a padlock, this is actually a key ring. Um, we'll get it out. Come here, you. There we go. And these are particularly nice key rings, these federal lock key rings. There we go. Get the reflection just right. And I actually have just the lock for it. So I'm um, just going to pop the keys on. Um, and if you look at the keys, you might recognize what they are. There you go. It's a Schlage Primus SX. And this is the lock that's. Um, it goes with which is this Federal 650. I just think that that is going to be the perfect keychain for this Federal um, 650. How smart does that look? Pretty smart if you ask me. Right, so um, what else did Phil send? Um, this Castel Isolock all brass uh, Lotto lock and the bitting on that is, well, let's be honest, pretty extreme. So probably not a push over that lock at all. Um, and then what else do we have? Ah, yes, I really, really like this. Um, this is clearly <laughs> top padlock. Clearly, it's a, a Chinese-made lock, uh, but it is a cross lock. And I have to admit, I am a sucker for any um, padlocks that have, you know, tubular cores, cross cores, wafer cores, and anything that's just a little bit different. I absolutely love that. Um, what else do we have? Ah, yes. We have one of the Chicago locks, um, and these are probably really common across in the, the United States, but really uncommon here in the UK. And I love these double bitted wafers. Um, and what's really cool is that um, just recently, and completely fortuitously, another friend of mine gave me this lock for my birthday. And look, this is pretty much the same lock, but with the tubular core. Um, so oh, so that just makes an awesome little pair of locks. Um, so I'm really, really stoked about that. That's really awesome. Um, so pop that down. We have a another sticker. That'll go on my case where I keep all my pick cases in. Then last but not least, we have this... Um, little 40 mil Avocet padlock and this is the it's got a vinyl cover and Avocet don't make these anymore they they make their higher security locks but these are generally really nice locks to pick very smooth they do have spools in um a bitting on this one is okay but let's have let's have a look so let's get the pick in and all, all i do is just draw it back until i find um there we go <laughs> and were picked. Um, I don't know, I, I think it's probably just a case of the pick shank itself. Probably picked pins one and two. Then all I probably have to do is pick pin four at the back. At least that's what I think went on. But I really do genuinely like um, these locks. They're rare to find these days. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Phil uh, Dixon, for this awesome um, um, haul, this awesome trade. Um, 
but I also wanted to show off some other locks which some friends sent me for uh, my birthday so um, and, and they are just a fantastic group of lock pickers and they know who they are and I love them very much and this is a classic a Walsall 2000 and um, I just love the shininess of this lock it's definitely one of the prettiest uh, leave locks you can get out there um, and I have wanted one of these for ages so I'm so grateful that I managed to uh, get one of these from um, my picking friends because it really does mean a lot to me um, we also have this Yale and this is um, an awesome armoured uh, hardened steel bodied Yale padlock um, pretty decent bitting on that key as well wouldn't you say really lovely um, that was a, another birthday gift and um, oh, just knocked my camera a bit then what else what else, what else? this um, I think it's a Yale K200 and I don't know the core inside but it's definitely got some key control pins um, can you see that side of the key there so there's one dimple there two dimples there um, just a beautiful beautiful steel Yale absolutely wonderful um, so that I'm going to look forward to picking um, then we have this uh, Tokos Pluto and what's really funny is that um, this was a birthday gift from my friends And it's a really, really great lock, brand new, clearly. Um, but you can see that it's sort of an abloy clone. Um, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, nice, secure little lock, actually. And this is made, I believe, Tokos in the Czech Republic. Um, and what's so funny is I found the, this is the Pluto, I found the Mars padlock on uh, <laughs> eBay just a matter of days after I got this so um, I was, you know so cool with the Chicago uh, locks but also with these um, like, like like these locks and then um, so cool also with these Tokos that I've managed to find a Tokos Mars as well um, a slightly beefier lock albeit with probably a less secure um, core so that one as well oh God, what a pile um, and that isn't it um, my picking friends also bought me and I never did have it, the, a copy of the High Security Mechanical Locks Encyclopedic Reference. And this is just an absolutely incredible, incredible um, book. I mean, it's got, well, just everything. I mean, look at this um, M. Hart Corbin. It's just, just uh, you name it, It's 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 got it in spades. It is really just an awesome book. I'll hopefully do, wow, <laughs> so many locks, it's cascading. I mean, you know, what a birthday haul, right? Um, so I'll probably do a review on this um, incredible book at some point because it is definitely worth it, definitely worth exploring. Um, so yeah, um, uh, just a fabulous haul. So thank you to my friends for this, uh, so to all the birthday locks and thank you to Phil Dixon for the trade. I've got plenty to be getting on here, on with here. So um, yeah, I'm really stoked and um, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all next time.